Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel Shilpa Data Insights. Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we will be covering one more interview question that is asked in the big MNC company. So today's question will be related to the question that is asked in EY, which is one of the big four consulting companies. I have curated a lot of questions and answered them all in the complete playlist of big four MNCs companies interview questions. So this will be a continuation of this. If you have not watched the video, I would recommend you to go ahead, practice those questions which I have already covered, which will really help you in cracking the interviews. It's not only you just watch it, make sure you go ahead and practice it by your own in your computer so that you have a good knowledge how exactly things work and you are able to answer those questions in the interview. So let's get started with today's interview question. So before we start, I would recommend you to go to this TopMate website where I have curated all the questions related to PySpark. It has more than 40 questions which are asked in the big four consulting companies apart from the ones that I have covered in the playlist. So make sure you go ahead and get this crack big four big data engineer interviews which has those questions and it will really help you in getting the knowledge and answering those questions in the interview and this is my playlist in which i've covered more than 40 questions you can also practice it make sure you subscribe this particular channel in order to get more updates like this so let's get started with today's question that we have so in this we have uh, a particular data set the data set is about the jobs when you are working as a data engineer you have to run the jobs and there's a start date and an end date and there's some status like whether the job is failed or whether it is succeeded so in this particular uh, job status if I go ahead and run this is my data set okay I'm running this to display you so this is my job so for example the job number one is success on the run date 1st of August. The same job, let's say, is success on 2nd of August. Now, the third job is failed on 3rd of August and then again it failed on 4th of August and then it's success on 13th of August. So now you see these two are consecutive that it actually succeeded. These two are consecutive that it failed and this is one date which it did not it succeeded but there's nothing after that right so we need an output here like this so we need the success and we need the start date and end date the consecutive start date and end date so if you will see on first and second it is success right so we need the start date as first and the end date as second now the next thing that we see is fail that on third it failed and fourth it failed so the start date is third and the end date is fourth now the job status the next is success that is 13th now 13th is success that is my start date but what is my end date i don't know so i'm putting the end date as the same date as today's date that not today's date basically the date that is exactly as the start date right so now in order to create the data set i have used the schema and the struct type and i am putting that inside a list if you don't know how to actually create a data frame out of the schema then do watch the video i will pin it in the i button i have explained to you it there very clearly how exactly it's done now in order to uh, go ahead and solve this particular question you need to go ahead and import some functions like you need to go ahead and import the spark session uh, we will not need this for databricks so i'm just removing it we will need the types so i'm importing the struct type struct field string type and date type and then date time this also i'm not utilizing so let me remove this i have some functions so i'm importing all the functions as f and i'm importing the window as w right so now i let me rerun to make sure my data set is ready yes my data set is ready now my main task starts that is answering the question before you jump into an answer make sure you go ahead and Put in your head how exactly to approach this question because if you know how exactly to approach it you can just go ahead and write the code very easily so the interviewer is actually looking for whether you can approach this question or not right and what strategy are you using for a particular question there are multiple ways in which you can go ahead and answer it right so which approach you are following in this particular question i will be following one approach if you have any other approach put it in the comment section 
right so that everyone can go ahead and watch that particular uh, comment right and they can also practice it in that because for a particular question it's not necessary there will be one approach there could be multiple approaches that you can go ahead and use so let's start this so what i will do is if you will see i have the job status either the job is a success or it is a failure so i can divide the partition the data on the basis of job status now i also want to go ahead and see what is my run date right so let's say if i partition it by job status and i actually go ahead and order it by the run date so the first will come first and then second will come second if you know about the row number function right which is a window function so if you apply the row number here what will happen here in the first it will go ahead and write one okay so let me just copy this here let's see if it copies it well yeah so if i use row number one what will happen here it will give me one because um, the this is my first and i'm ordering it by run date and if i go ahead and partition it by success the row number will come here two right and here if i partition it by success then it will come here row number three and what will come here it will partition it by the fail and the run date so this is three that is the third of august comes first so row number is one and here it comes two if you don't know about the row number do watch my video as well i have explained you how exactly the row number works so this is one thing now i want to group this and this and i want to separate this right but if i right now if i do a group by on the job status then all the success will come at the same right but i don't need that and i will not be able to get my end date in that case so what i will do is i will go ahead and just order by run date so what will happen if i order it by run date and i will go ahead and use the row number so row number will be sequence and i am ordering it by run date i am not partitioning the data so i will put one here then it will come two then what is the next the order by date is three so it will come here three next is four right so i am putting here four and next here is five so if you will see one two three and four these are consecutive so therefore the row number one two three four then after four it comes 13 so it is coming as five okay now if you go ahead and take a difference among these you will see there is a uh, there is a sequence like for if you take this difference then it's zero take this difference it's zero take this difference it's two take this difference it's two and then take this difference as two right once you take a difference what will happen here here it is zero here it is zero then here it is two again here it is two and here it is two right if i take a difference now you will see there these two are is one right if i group it by my difference so this will come as one partition and this will come as one partition so what i will do is i will not only go ahead and uh, differentiate the partition on the basis of the difference i will also do it by success that is my uh, status so that it comes in a different way and i can get all the desired results so let me go ahead and write the code and i will explain you in bit by bit what exactly is happening so let's see i have my df is equal to what is my name here it is df job runs okay so i will go ahead and create a column let me do one thing before creating a column i will go ahead and partition the data so i have vast window in the first window what i will do is i have my window dot partition by my job status and i will order it by the run date this is one partition that i want i want a second partition that i want it by order by that i have this row that i have written right in this row that i have written so that will be my second window in the second window i will not partition by i'll just do an order by so this is my second window so let me run this so now i will mention run all so i will go ahead and create a column called run all and i will assign a row number to each row over my window function that i created okay that is this w1 okay so let me do a df dot display just to make sure i have not made 
any syntactical errors here is a syntactical error why because i have used the functions as f so instead of f i just used row number so it gave me a syntactical error that the row number is not found now i have given f so you see it has given me for fail it is one two and for success it's one two and three okay now i'll create another column here let me just copy this so that i avoid the type writing it again and run state uh, run by partition and i will partition it by my window 2 okay now if i run it it will give me 2 right so this is my let me put it here 1 2 and 3 here it's 1 2 3 and failure is 3 and 4 here run all is 1 and 2 and here it is 3 and 4 right because here run partition means we are partitioning it by status and the run date so here the fifth one is coming out of this okay okay i think i messed up the windows here so let me go ahead and fix this the first one is not run all the first one is this run all and the second one is with this partition okay let me rerun it and fix this up okay so run all you see one two three four and five and run partition is one two three and then one and two okay so this makes sense now in this what i will do is i'll create a run difference so i'll create another column called run diff in this run diff i will go ahead and do a run all f dot column run all minus f dot column run partition so that it gives me a group so let me make this a uh, name called group because we are grouping it okay so i have created another column which is called group so now this success these two successes in one group right that we need but this we don't need it in a group we need it in a different group so therefore the assigning is two now this two is fail so assigning is two but if i just now the next step comes is i need to group it and get the start date and end date but if i just do a group of this these two comes and then all this comes but i have have a success here right so what i can do is i can group both by job status and the group so let me do that so i will put a result is equal to df dot group by the job status and the group if i do a group by of both and now i will do an aggregation in the aggregation what i will do I will go ahead and get my start date and my end date right so I will get the min of my run date this min of my run date will be actually my start date and max of my run date will be my end date right so i'll write here max of my run date is my end date now if i go ahead and display it will give me the displayed result so now you see it has this so i have let's say success my start date is first end date is second right that's correct now in the second success i have 13 and 13 next in the third is my failed which is my another group which is third and fourth this is right but i don't need this group so what i will do is i will simply go ahead and drop my group okay it's going to drop the group and i will get my desired result so i'll get my start date i'll get the end date with success and failure so this is my actual result and this is my expected result so both of them actually matches right you can just rename the column i think i have not given an underscore so that's the only difference that i can see between the expected and this but that's a small uh, typo that you can go ahead and correct so this is what is the result i hope you have understood how exactly the things work how you can go ahead and solve this problem so i will 
highly recommend you to practice this question and if you have understood do hit the like button subscribe to my channel and share it with your friends so that it outreaches everyone and everyone can go ahead and practice the pie spark questions if you have any comments please put it in the comment section so that i can help you out further and thank you so much for all your support that you are providing in the complete channel thank you so much for watching in the next video i'll come up with the next tutorial thank you so much for watching and i wish you have a good day